Yo guys, what up? Nick Brownman here. Today I'm going to be reacting to Food Wars Season 1, Episode 2. First episode, didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I loved it. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. Um, Spread this hashtag around. Seduced by food. It's, that's, that's what the episode was. Seduced by food. Um... Anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get into this, um, brief recap, actually, first. There was a, some bitchy woman trying to close down Soma's shop. Now, S Soma put her in her place. His dad is closing down the shop to go work with a friend. Soma's going to a culinary school that's apparently one of the best in the world. And I can't wait to see what this episode has in store for me. Or for us, should I say? Let's do this. And this is the last item. Yes, how is it? Now you're in the back. A gorilla? Okay then. Oh, that that was her tasting it. I can't believe you've all made it this far putting out such nauseating slop. Especially that oyster porridge. Ugh, it was like taking it back the sweaty western lowland gorilla. Thus the imagery you saw. took a shortcut or two with the knees on plot. Listen, I know your group is trying to expand its business, so you're looking to make things more efficient and everything. But even so, it does you no good to violate and pollute a person's tongue with something like this. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, we are so very Okay, she just broke all of them. Okay, then. She's hardcore. Alright then. So, I was confused for a minute because there was um, a scene where she was in a, 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 a hot spring and then an ape out of nowhere appeared. And then she explained that that's what it tasted like. I'm just like, okay, what's happening here? So, I was, at first, I was like, did she like the dish? Did she like it? And then I found out, oh, she didn't like the dish. Okay. The imagery in this can be a bit confusing, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Alright. Okay, back to Soma. It's time for you to go to Soma. To the school, Come right? Come back once you've learned what you're made of. That looks damn haunting. Man, I stick out like a sore thumb. Jeez. These other kids have butlers and bodyguards. And don't forget, son. You'll be attending one of the best cooking schools in the country. It's highly competitive and the graduation rate is less than 10%. Yeah, less than means most of the people 10. you meet won't last a month. Yeah. I'm in New York City. At US. the Manhattan Royal Hotel, VIP reception hall. Huh? Not sure how long I'll be here, though. Man, Joe! I am so glad you came back to old New York. We have really missed you, my man. <laughs> You've got to keep the excitement down, Dr. McFlee. You know, the blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> after I'd gotten deadly ill, so I thought if I could just eat Yukihira's cooking one last time, I'd have no regrets. But now I can't stop, and I stuff my face here every chance I get. <laughs> sir, I beg you. May we come again? Uh, oh, please say yes, sir. Let's go back, Yukihira. Please, let's go back, high priest. You're in the middle of fasting. You need to set an example for the rest 
Is that a monk? <laughs> oh my god! And I went to India first, then Italy and Spain. I flew into New York yesterday. I plan on staying here in America and cooking for a while. Huh? I can't even keep up with what you're saying. I'm doing this as a favor to a friend. So, listen to me, Selma. The thought of you surviving that school till graduation and getting better than me is almost comical. <laughs> share with you a few secrets to improving your cooking skills. <laughs> you hung up on me, Dana. <laughs> he doesn't want your help, Dad. Right, coming. Listen, Soma. The trick to being a good chef is the right woman. A woman who will make you a better man. Better at cooking. Better at everything. Okay. Well... <clears throat> What do I have next? This, ma'am. Judging the transfer exam? I didn't know joining the council would mean doing this kind of menial labor. I guess I'll head over there after I've changed. Well, excuse you, princess? Damn it. He thinks it's a joke. Uh, well, I will make it to the very end. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, not to worry. You're trying to transfer here as well, are you? Please, have a seat. Thanks. Totsky's middle school division is announcing their advancement exam results today. Plus, students from other middle schools like us are here for the transfer exam. I'm Yoshiaki Nikaido. My family runs a prominent French restaurant. Oh, huh, that's crazy. You don't sound French. We have a family restaurant, too. Yeah, well, it may not be a coincidence. That boy over there... He's the heir to a nationwide restaurant chain. Which one? The other is the son of a major wholesaler that distributes oh. fish throughout Kanto. Most everyone here works in food. All on the path to be restaurateurs. Makes sense. What's the name of your family's restaurant? Uh, it's called Yukihira. Yukihira. Gourmet, I'm assuming? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing that fancy. It's just a little diner located in Shitamaka. <laughs> a diner? <laughs> And you're a cunt. You no longer sit next to me. You listen and listen well. This school is not a place surrounding Neanderthals. This is sacred ground where only those who live in the world of fine cuisine may dare to learn and achieve. You don't belong here. Totski is a fine dining academy. Simpleton riffraff like yourself won't even get past the written exam. Hey, don't start looking down your nose at me, pal. You don't know anything about me, all right? Everyone are di everyone is dicks. I mean, seriously, this could be pretty rough. People are it's just like everybody in Deku's class and my hero. Is that? Is it really her? Yeah. All potential transfers. I'll be overseeing your transfer exams today. We're gonna see her in action. Ingredient will be egg. Make me one proper dish. Oh, okay. Those whose plate impresses me may transfer. All others will be forever banned from the academy. What? Forever? Did you see me? Now, all of you. You have just one minute starting now to decide your fate. Now's your chance to give up and leave. Uh, one minute? I'm safe! Time out! So many left. It's almost the other one staying. Wait up! Why are you running away? Are you kidding me? Don't tell me you don't know who she is. No clue. 
Tell me. That's Erin Anakari, harbinger of the greatest palette known to man. She's known as the God Tongue. Huh? God Tongue, okay. Children usually start talking between the ages of one and two. But not her. When she was just three months old, she spoke her very first words. Oh, God. It's one flavor. <laughs> she quickly developed such talent that from a very young age, she was asked to taste test for famous restaurants all across the country. Mm -hmm. All the biggest names in the culinary world are clients of hers. Any critique she gets will spread throughout the food industry. If she tastes anything less than perfection, she will tell you you're a talentless hag, and your life as a chef will be completely ruined forever. <laughs> Someone doesn't think they're so big anymore. I a bunch of dimwits with no promise. This is a pointless exercise. These recruits are always a bunch of drooling monkeys. Is that all we have left on our schedule for today? Uh, yes. Then I will be going to my room so I can work on a new dish. <gasps> a new dish by Miss Erina? <sighs> oh, what is it, Hisako? Your face says that you want something. Uh, my God. I, uh, I just... Uh, are you trying to tell me you want the right to taste my food? I... I do. Why is this scene like a uh, Yuri scene? Aren't you a greedy little girl? <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry, Miss Erina! Well, okay, but not until we make our report. Zero candidates passed. Uh-huh. Soma's still there! Uh, yeah. So I can just make whatever I want? Uh, yup. <laughs> so long as you incorporate the eggs, you're free to make whatever you like. But are you really sure you want to do this? Still okay to quit. Man, I was kind of worried. I was like, what if I flunked out without even getting to make anything? Get away from her! Do you know who you just touched? Not really. This is none other than the top student in the middle school division and the youngest member in history ever seated at the table for the Council of Ten. This is Erin and Nuckery. Dude, I've only seen one of these knives on TV. You need to pay attention! <laughs> Look, I will ask you again. Do you really intend on trying to take my exam? Uh, well, uh... I just have to say it tastes good, right? Then of course, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Your family runs a diner. Pedestrian food from a pedestrian chef. He doesn't appreciate my pedigree, does he? Much like a stray dog doesn't realize the value of a precious gemstone. She's a bitch, too. Well, you will have the honor of me tasting your food. I'm sure it will be a meal fit for a trucker. I think I'd like to serve you a little specialty from my family shop. Coming right up. Just give me a few minutes. He's gonna sh put her in her place too. Eggs are a universal staple in Japan, China, and throughout the West. Miss Erin tastes egg dishes from high-end restaurants every day. What sort of dish could he possibly make? Excuse me. Transform! 
Transforming Furikake Rice. Transforming Furikake? Who's that? It should be done just about any second now. So much Kishira. Just what sort of food cart trick do you intend to make? I can't wait till he puts her in her place. So dramatic and tense.
every picture of the common man. I can't approve. But you're taking a third bite, woman. Approve. You're taking a third bite. You have to approve. Yep, here it comes. Insulted. The food was good. She can't even lie. insulted. That's what it was. She enjoyed the dish. It doesn't matter how you feel. The imagery in this damn thing proved it. She liked the dish. She didn't pass him because she didn't like him as a character. Jesus Christ. My boy is going to get in somehow. Anyways, that was my reaction to um, Food Wars Season 1 Episode 2. Another fantastic episode of Soma beating all the proclaimed good chefs in the world. I don't care if he didn't get in right now. He won. He ultimately won. That's what it was. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, rate this video 1 through 10. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that fun crap. And this is Nick Brawin. Out with the yay.